Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, the former Kakamega Senator Boni Kalwale had organized for a series of campaign meetings within Kakamega County. And Kalwale was able to address people from Lugare constituency, Kule Kwakina Ayub Savula. After that, he again went to Kambili Yamwanzu, that is in Shinyalu. And after that also he was in Isuka East Ward, which is still in Shinyalu. Then after that he was in Marama South Ward, which was now in Buteri constituency. But in all these rallies, yesterday was yet another hard time for Kalwale to sell the candidature of William Samuel Ruto as the presidential candidate to the Luya community. In fact, Kalwale was forced to cut his speech short when the crowd flatly rejected William Samuel Ruto. And I wanted to listen to Kalwale shortly, then after that, we are going to give our views. He mixed both English and uh, the Luya dialect. For those who don't understand Luya, I'm going to translate for you. Listen to him shortly, then we are going to continue with this conversation. Where well, is here? Nende mwechimwa mdaba Nende mwechimwa wetangula Nukubwa wadanga kukubiru na elekura Kwasi mwa kubikura Tumwa kuma ina wamba mwa kuma Amen Nena wati ya mbunge Weo chinifanyi nikadia Vahe tana mrembe nende uhuru Uhuru wa mwa 200 billion shen Mwanda kukosi Musato wabu kula Chikanya mu Walo mbae airport yimbia Chenu, ta. Kuna kaka mega, chenu, ta. Kuna mumama, chenu, ta. Kuna kwanza yeti na chenu, ta. I come back to you people. Now we are continuing with our panel discussion, but I have a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your conditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend a video to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, I think what we have seen in this video is just a confirmation of what we have always talked here on this channel. I know some people will not be comfortable with this truth, but this is the reality in western region and there are some things I want to make it clear here about two or three things number one the people of Kakamega have no any problem for voting Boni Kalwale as their senator they have no any problem but they have a problem with the presidential candidate senator Boni Kalwale is selling to them Another truth is that the people of Kakamega have a problem in voting Boni Kalwale as their governor in case he was on ballot vying as a governor. They were not going to vote for him. But they have no any problem in making Boni Kalwale their senator because they don't trust Boni Kalwale with the management, but they can trust him with the, with the, the legislative position. So, there is no problem in Kalwale becoming the senator of Kakamega. And in my own view, for me, I believe Kalwale will easily become the senator. Unless, as me, you are going to work hard. But chances of Kalwale becoming the senator are high. <laughs> so, the issue we are dealing with here now is the presidential candidate Kalwale is bringing to the people of Western region. That is the big question here. <laughs> And according to Halwale, he is saying that Raila Molodinga, when he got into the handshake with the President Uhuru Kenyatta, 
alichukua development project zote akapeleka Nyanza region nothing was given to the luya people and because of that luya should not vote for Raila Molo Dinga but instead vote for William Samway Ruto but one thing that Kalwan is forgetting is that Raila Odinga is not the president. The person who decide if to do development in a specific area, it is the president, Will Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. We understand Uhuru had promised to visit Western region and uh, flag out, uh, uh, do a flag sheet of some number of projects, but Uhuru did not. So you cannot put that on Raila Molo Dinga because Raila is not the president. <laughs> but the truth here is that lawyers have really suffered economically in the agricultural sector in the hands of Uhuru Kenyatta and William Samiruto more than any other time in their life. From 2013 to 2017, this is the hardest time Luyas have suffered and they have been hit so much hard. And so bringing any of these two as a presidential candidate or vying for any seat to the Luya community to vote for them. Itakuwa tu ni sawa na kungwajia meli katika uwanja wa ndege. If I quote Hassan Joe. <laughs> So, those people who are campaigning for William Ruto in Western, and you are anticipating, you are expecting New Year's to vote for Ruto, then this will be same as waiting for the ship at the airport. The ship will not land at the airport. That is the truth here. Because New Year's can still remember, they are still just healing their wounds on how they have suffered in the hands of William Ruto and Uhuru Kenyatta. The lucky thing about Uhuru Kenyatta, he is going home after robbing Raila Odinga in 2017. He robbed his victory. But the good thing about Uhuru is going home. So he has nothing to suffer when it comes to the Luya votes. And the worst thing for William Samuel Ruto, he is on ballot seeking for the Luya votes. But what he's forgetting is the treatment he gave to the Luya people. So this confirms what we have been always saying here, that it is going to be very hard for the lawyers to vote for William Ruto because the economy was killed, Umiyas sugar was killed, and the people know who is importing sugar in this country. Marafika Kinanani wana import sugar. And who is behind killing all of these factories for a personal gain in business? When it comes to sharing of the cabinet, neither Uhuru nor Ruto gave a chance to any lawyer. So any of these two, if he's on ballot, he will go home. Raila has not governed. Raila has not become the president. Lawyers will only judge Raila once he has been given an opportunity to serve. That's why lawyers have no any problem for voting Raila Odinga as the presidential candidate. Forget about these other seats. They are going to vote for the person they feel is the right person. Whether it's in UDA, whether it's in ODM, whether it's in ANC, whichever party. Those other positions like member of parliament, senators, woman rep, ISO, they will vote either side. But when it will come to the president votes, I'm telling you, Raila has a chance in Western region. The farthest William Ruto can get votes in Western is to make himself Mdabad his running mate. Some lawyers will be convinced that Mdabad will have a stake in William Ruto's government. That is the only way they can try to split the votes in Western. But again, how do you deal with the issue of Mount Kenya? Of course, you are giving it trailer if you give Mdabad the running mate. So Ruto is in a hard situation to balance on how 
he can get vote. The matrix is not working for William Samway Ruto. So, Bonne Kalwale has been a man who has been convincing people of Kakamega to vote either side. Even in 2013 when he was with Musalem David, I remember Kakamega voted for Musalem David more than Viga count. <laughs> but this time round, the people of Kakamega are telling Bonne Kalwale in the eye that listen, Ruto Tawe. They are repeating it, Ruto Tawe. And they are speaking from the heart because they have gone through hard time in the hands of these two. So none of them can convince them to vote for him, for, for them. It will not work. That's why I'm telling you, at least Raila has a best to start with. Nyanza, Western, Lafata, Futakura, Uko. But Ruto has to give something to Mount Kenya region if we need their vote. He has to give something to Western if we need to give, if they need at least to get some votes. Anything less than that, there is nothing to anticipate on William Samay Ruto side from the Luya people. Just as simple as that. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. So let us meet in the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.